Hi everybody. So as you probably have seen from my past videos, Dan Travels came over, we had a good time, and the day before, he came over the evening before, and he was kind enough to uh, make us dinner, and uh, it was pretty good. And one thing that he used to make dinner was this nice crack pot that since then he's, he's shown it a couple times on his channel. And he told me, I think he told me that he got it at a Flying J's truck stop. But anyway, I don't have a Flying J's near me. <laughs> so I drove a couple miles, I found one and I found what he, he had. I have it right here. It's a 12 volt crock pot that um, has one and a half quarts and I think it's just big enough for one person. It might be big enough for two people. Um, it might be big enough for two people actually. And I actually, I had been looking for a crock pot but I was looking for a 12 volt one and I don't even remember if I try to look for a 12 volt one but anyway I got this and get it out of the box for you it's very simple got the um, cigarette lighter socket thing to plug in only has on and off this might be off this might be on I'll find out here's the crock pot itself comes with a little instructions booklet it has um, put that in there there's a little bungee thingy here almost looks like a hair somebody with a giant hair tie there here anyway it has that thing there and it's got a nice lid and what you do when you set this up you put this little bungee thing across and it holds it in place especially if you're driving you know you don't want this <laughs> You know what to stop real quick and this thing goes flying and there goes your dinner or your lunch. So it has that. Got the lid. Hopefully I won't break it before this is over. This is the inside. It's ceramic. And it looks like it might be big enough for two people. We'll see. We'll find out. <laughs> so here's the crock pot. As you know, I like to cook whenever I can. I like to cook, but my van is not really set up for a lot of cooking. That's one thing. And the other thing, now that it's summer, it's really hot, you know, it's, and it's hot in the van too. So if I start cooking in a van, um, it's going to be a lot hotter than already is so so I haven't cooked much in a van but it's not healthy it's not healthy to to eat out all the time but I don't have a choice there's there's only so many things I can eat but I'm trying to uh, I like to cook. I really like to cook. So if I can cook using this thing, I think that would be great. Because I can just, I can get my food, I can go to the store, get my food, and because right now, you know, I go to the store and I look around and I only buy, I only buy certain things, you know. Um, I buy milk. 
orange juice, cheese, maybe some meat, maybe some uh, um, sandwich meat, and some salad, some uh, some like spring mix I can put in in there, bread, you know, some yogurt, and that's pretty much it. Um, I have some cans of soup that I eat once in a while, but other than that, I can't really cook much in a van. It's just it's just too hot. But I think with this with this thing, I can have I can have the van opened, right? Removing all the smells. I can go to work in the morning, get all my food ready, and that morning put everything in a crock pot, set it, forget it. And by the time I'm done with work, I have a nice hot meal, and I think that's going to work. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be eating, uh, I'll be eating healthier food than I've been eating. I mean, I haven't been eating unhealthy food. It's just if you go out, you got to eat what they what they give you, right? Whatever they have. And you don't know where that food is coming from, so so hopefully, hopefully this this will work good, because um, I'm really looking forward to uh, to start using it. But before I use it, I got I got to um, I got to install another one of these. You probably seen me install one over here for this uh, refrigerator, and I want to install one more. And actually, I have I have another one of these, at least one more. So I want to install this one up there by the switch for my inverter, right next to it. This way, I can just plug that in here, and I could. If I wanted to, I could get, um, they sell these things you can plug in there and then it has like a splitter, it has like two or three or four you can plug into. I guess, yeah, I guess I could do that. But I wonder if then I have to change the fuse. I might have to change the fuse because it's, the fuse is only set for this thing. If I put another load in there, I will need to change the fuse, or I'll blow a fuse. <laughs> yeah, so that's no big deal. I'll, I have, I have these. Doesn't take long to uh, install. I'll, I'll make a video of me installing this thing, and um, that's it. And then tomorrow, I think tomorrow I'm going to. I'll go to the store, I'll get some food, and then I'll make a cooking video. I'll set this up in the morning, or whenever I get back, let it slow cook, and by evening time, I'll have a nice meal. So cool. I'm really glad I got this thing. I haven't tried it yet. I'm really looking forward to trying it. And, um, I'm even even I'm even more looking forward to um, trying the food that this thing's gonna cook. So cool.